Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about how to create a case type in Pega. Okay, so let's create a case type. I'm using App Studio over here. Uh, through App Studio, we are going to create a case type. So click, click on the case type explorer in that case type. And this is 8.5. Uh, so I want to just book a hotel. So I'm going to book. Uh, I'm going to create one case type called as hotel. So now you have an option called as create data model using uh, spreadsheet. So if you want to create any uh, properties, okay. So all the properties or all the data model which you have in your uh, case type which is you already having certain spreadsheet with you then you can just select this uh, this particular option okay create data model using spreadsheet click next yes after clicking next it will ask you the spreadsheet which is of type xls or it can be a csv file so let me choose the file which i already have it so i have it it on my desktop so that is hotel booking right so i have that in uh, my desktop which is a hotel booking data model uh, csv say where it is having uh, it is having certain columns so i'll show you what are the columns which are these are the columns which are there in my hotel booking data model so i will this will automatically creates properties in your uh, case type so it will be created automatically in case type click on next so if you look into this there there is there are the columns which are there automatically you can see over here so what could be the field name you can see what could be the field names here the same things you are telling so check in date is not a date it should it should be text sorry it is not a text it should be a date so change the field types number of guests is integers room is also integer uh, adults is also integer and children is also integer then create so six columns will automatically create from that okay yes so data model is created for us and here in the first uh, case type you can see uh, it's a hotel booking so you got something called as create here which is already available from 8.5 one stage is already available from one, uh, from 8.5 so from 8.5 onwards you don't find py start kiss uh, flow rule so that we'll be discussing in the uh, in the coming sessions now you can change this particular uh, uh, this particular stage name also it it doesn't mean you cannot delete it but you can change the uh, first stage of your case life cycle so for example it is create here so let's uh, make it as uh, make it as submission so user will be submitting all the uh, things here okay and then he will choose the uh, uh, select the hotel so once the hotel is being selected you can uh, select you can uh, or you can do the payments. So once the payment is done, your uh, uh, room hotel uh, hotel room would be uh, blocked for you for those days. Okay. So how many days are there? Those many days it would be blocked. Okay. So uh, once the payment is done, yeah, you we will go with the confirmation as a stage. Okay. So here submission. So we'll first. Uh, do the uh, check-in uh, process or select the two details or you know when is check-in and check-out those all things will be asking and then we will go with the hotel selection okay so based on the availability of hotels uh, we will show you the hotel so select the two details then you can go for like personal info or we can say guest info okay and then he'll go with the process and then here we'll go with the select so we will show some multiple hotels for the uh, for people and then based on that we'll be selecting the hotel and any uh, if you want to have any certain uh, special requests in special requests we'll ask whether you want non-smoking zone or smoking zone or you know how it was how it is okay and then here we will ask to pay the payments 
collective payment. That means you are booking the uh, hotel. So once the hotel is put, uh, show the uh, details, confirm details, and then uh, you can just send an email. So in the automation, you have something called as send an email. So you can just go with the send and save this. So this is how you know how you uh, start uh, working with the uh, case type. Even after collecting payments also, you can send an email saying that the amount has been paid uh, to the so and so hotel. Okay, save this. So in the, in the select the tool details, we will add whatever the data model you want. See, if you click on data model, what are the what are the things which you have added from uh, the text CLSV, CSV file? Uh, you can see those things over here. Okay, so in the workflow for on this, I will add the add those things. Okay, so let me expand these fields and see. Yes, we have this. So what do you want first? You want check in, check in. So check in date and next check out date. Uh, next is number of rooms and number of guests uh, and then uh, adult how many members and children how many members. So based on that we will be adding the uh, guest and adult details in the next screen. Okay. So rooms can be a pick list. So I took integer here but you can make it as a pick list later. Even number of guests, adults, and children, you can make them as pick list. So, sub. Okay. Let me run this case. So, now you can see check in date and all those things. So, you can add check in dates, check out dates, number of rooms, for example, two, number of guests, two adults, two children. And then click on submit, continue, and then it will go to the next step. Okay, so this is how you create a case type along with the data model, which is uh, from the CSV file.